tonight, we bring you the final chapter of Who Goes There? The Strange Encounter in Flatwoods. In the last episode, Pioneer Scout Fred Fisher met a curious girl named Sally while hiding in the dark. But as it turned out, they weren't alone. There are other people here? Yeah, they probably just went to get more food. They'll be back soon enough. You can wait with me, and they'll give you food too. You just have to do what they want. What do you mean? When they want to play games with you. Games? What kind of games? I'm still learning the rules. Mostly, they're kind of boring, and only hurt when they use the needles. Needles? Yeah, you know, like at the doctor. Wait, what? Was that everything? Tonight, we bring you the final chapter of Who Goes There? The Strange Encounter in Flatwoods. In the last episode, Pioneer Scout Fred Fisher met a curious girl named Sally while hiding in the dark. But as it turned out, they weren't alone. There are Ooh. other people here? Yeah, they probably just went to get more food. They'll be back soon enough. You can wait with me, and they'll give you food too. You just have to do what they want. What do you mean? When they want to play games with you. Games? What kind of games? I'm still learning the rules. Mostly, they're kind of boring, and only hurt when they use the needles. Needles? Yeah, you know, like at the doctor. This doesn't sound like any game I know. It sounds downright awful and these people sound really bad. We have to get out of here. No, no, stay put, stay put, stay put, stay put. Okay, okay, stop screaming. Ah, the light, it's so bright. That's where they come in to bring food when it's time to play. <gasps> Sally, what's that helmet thing you're wearing? It looks like it's screwed into your head. Jesus, dude. Okay. Um. <laughs> I know, I know it. It, you know. Okay. I, I tried to tell Bethesda this before, how messed up the holo tape system is and how they need to fix it, especially if they're gonna have like three minute holo tapes. We'll, we'll listen to that one again later. I don't want to listen to it for a third time right now. But, um, the, the worst part is I really like these holo tapes. I mean, you know, I'm going to say a really unpopular opinion right now. That's going to, that's going to trigger a lot of you. I think the holo tapes are awesome. Sorry. I'm sorry. Um, but I think they're great. I actually really like them. I, I kind of like, you know, doing my fallout thing and like listening to remnants of the past and like, hearing about that stuff like i everywhere i go i just see people like oh hollow tapes resident sleeper oh another hollow tape i love them i think it's great they remind me of like bioshock one and soma and like games where you're 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 walking through something that was alive in the past but no longer is and you're kind of like piecing together everything um i think they're great so i don't know dude Oh, hi, I miss you. I miss your sly smile you'd always wear. I miss the warmth of one of your long hugs. I can still remember how happy we were living together back then, even though now I can't remember your face. I'm so sorry, Janet. I should have trusted you and walked into that vault holding your hand. Every day for the last 20-odd years, I've been kicking myself for making such a stupid, stupid mistake. It's a hellhole out here. Anyway, this is me finally saying goodbye, and that I'll never forget you, honey. It's getting real bad here. I've been waiting for that vault to open so long now to see your bright, smiling face again, but I can't wait no longer. I've got to move on. I should have never taken that job in D.C. Good luck. Good luck, Janet. Goodbye, and happy birthday, princess. Always yours, James. Bummer. Talking 
this? Oh, uh, yeah, am I loud enough? Okay. Um, hi. Hi. What do you want me to say exactly? Just talk about how you got okay. here and maybe a little Dasa bit about your ben life. Ami. This is a historic document. Go ahead, Tabitha. Okay. 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 So, well, thanks. Ah, uh, okay. Whew. I've been sober for nine days. Mm, I got here nine days ago. My name is, is Tabitha. That's her. And this is my story. I just found out about everything. <laughs> the war, the bombs, I, I just... I just realized this was, uh... <laughs> really happening. For years, I thought the cans wow. were playing tricks with my mind. Hurting my brain. I thought it was the worst trip ever. Every time I had come out of my haze long enough to look for food, I'd find more chems and, well, they kept going. And I kept seeing madness. But, um, I would have been wandering around fighting giant rats and eating garbage if not for the responders. They're they're good folks. That doc in the church, um, got me some meds that are helping out a lot. And they have group therapy meetings, and, and it's good, it's good. I, I, I think it's helping. But listen, um, you should avoid the mountains. <laughs> They'll just get you mixed up. Get you doing things you don't want to do. Hurting people mostly. I mean, there are so many chems up there. I spent too long there and I hurt people. I couldn't think right. I, I couldn't. Oh, it's okay, Tabitha. Remember what we said in the group? Take your Adictol and rest, and things will be okay soon. It's okay. We're here for you. Yeah, I'm taking it. When I feel better, I'm going out west, though. Getting out of this place. Getting out, getting away from the cams, all of this. Oh, I feel man. better every day, but, you know, here's the cams. Years of rads, years of sleeping in the mud. It adds up. Yeah. I'm gonna get back to sleep now, okay? Okay. Thanks for sharing your story, Tabitha. Get some sleep. You'll be okay. You're safe now. My lord, dude. All these have been like. All except that one dude. That one dude that was like. Go get him, guys, at the end of his. Like, all of these have been so sad so far. And those messages we just read about the kid? <sighs> bummer, bummer, bummer. Bummer, bummer, bummer. Alright, so I wasn't able to do this in here. Here we go. No! Oh, yeah.
And for those who didn't see it, we found that in a corpse in the refrigerator. Reminder to myself. The responders are good people. They're trying their damn best for sure. Things aren't good and stuff is getting worse. Anyway, this is a reminder to myself. A reminder that this gun, it's my insurance. Things get real bad if the food runs out or the water runs dry. I get to decide how I leave this goddamn world. I'm not gonna let myself suffer. I'm not gonna die hungry and alone. I can't. And that's exactly how he died. Ah, <sighs> ooh. Such is life. Well, this is it, I guess. Rock bottom, I think they call it. <laughs> I still miss him, Billy. I knew he was too young for me. <laughs> but it made me feel good. Old Billy, I really miss. The one who used to do nothing all day with me but listen to the radio and drink. I should have got out sooner. When Billy and his buddies started. Automated warning to all responders. And Mr. Phone hands are out of control. Oh, come on! Evacuate civilians. And take down those supervisors. Once they're dealt with, you'll have to reboot the server. Again. Okay. Bethesda. I understand that you're going to start putting in multi-minute long hollow tapes that are designed to help us with the lore of the game. That's great. But by not putting in a system where we can pause them and come back to them, and when we pick them up, they don't autoplay, and when shit like that happens, they stopped. Like, you're... Come on, man. Come on. Like, seriously. I'm trying so hard to enjoy this. You're, you're better than this. Come on, man. Like, next patch. Get some shit in here that lets us manage this. If I pick up a holo tape, it shouldn't stop the one I'm on. If I start a holo type, I, I should be able to fast forward through it. I should be able to pause it. I should be able to come back to it. Like, come on, man. Jesus. It's 2018. <laughs> Can't even like go through my damn tapes. All right. Anyway, let's go. Damn. All right. I wouldn't care if you were, if, you know, if the tapes were like ten seconds or something. It's not a big deal. But they're, they're these tapes are good. I want to hear them all. But like that last tape with the with the radio show. I don't want to listen to two and a half minutes of stuff because I accidentally, like, looted a tape. Like, come on, man. <laughs> I like in chat people saying, guys, the technology just isn't there yet. <laughs> tape technology has a long way to go, Co. Slow down. This isn't 2025. God. Um. <laughs> Next, you'll demand moving pictures on a disc. Ho-ho! All right, anyway. Um... Golly Mine Recon. I hope things in Flatwoods are going well. I had a thought I wanted to share. If we can spare the personnel, I'd like to send a team into Golly Mine. They were blasting in the days before the war, and if there's any dynamite in there, it might come in handy. This is from Maria. Cool. Find the over... Ah. Overseer's Log, town of Flatwoods. My God. There's no one here. The old tavern, the church, people were using them for shelter, but they're gone. Mutations were expected. There's something else. A disease. I was attacked by... Well, it used to be a person. But it had these green, glowing lesions, and its voice... Angry. Tortured. We are one. One what? 
Whatever happened here is beyond anything we expected. And we expected a lot. Here, why not grab a dim bag? Damn, okay. Before they were wiped out, the survivors called themselves the Responders. Looks like they were made of firefighters, police, emergency medical staff. They even have an automated system to teach people about treating water, food, survival. I'm doing their tests, and you should too. I know it's even worse than we imagined, but someone's got to know where the missile silos are and how to secure them. The responders are the best lead we have. This is the overseer signing off. Melon Farm, how am I liking the game? Uh, I'm loving it so far. Yep, I'm, I'm really, really enjoying it. It is important to mention, though, that I am a huge Fallout fan. And just being able to, like, explore and run around a Fallout world is enough to make me happy. So, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm really enjoying it so far. Very much enjoying it. One of the three people on Twitch that is, probably. Hi. Oh, this is the kid! Dasa asked me if I would talk about um, how I got here. She asked everybody, so I said, okay. My, name, my name's Colonel, and I'm 13 years old. I, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. Um, the bombs and the messed up people and the cows with two heads. Who are the other two people? Me, myself, and I? I was bad. Just bad. I, I cheated on my spelling test. I, I kicked Chip Wilkins in the shins until he cried. I pushed Rosie McCloy down the stairs. Um... I cut holes in the bottom of all the gym shorts and put glue in the mashed potatoes in the cafeteria. I told Harold Newell to eat 10 dead flies a day in order to grow muscles and put Nuka Cola in the rat cage water bottles at the pet store. And um, I just wanted to say I'm sorry about everything. This kid's the reason the world ended, by the way. Because my dad said if I wasn't this way, the bad things would happen. Oh! I haven't seen daddy since the bombs and. I guess he left because of that, too. It's okay. I'm trying to be good now, though. I'm not old enough to be a volunteer, but Dasa said I could help collect food and water, so I'm getting better, I promise. And, um, Daddy, if you're listening, I... I promise I won't be bad anymore, so you can come back now. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bomber. That got pretty dark at the end. We call it the Great War now. It's not been long, and things have been rough. Welcome to Survivor Stories. I'm Dasa ben Ami, a responder. I've been working with the responders for a couple of years now. I'm from Charleston originally, so it was easy to join up. What wasn't easy was the work. Rebuilding Appalachia from the rubble while survivors flock to us regularly from all over. So many have come and gone. Their stories untold. Their names lost to time. Oh, I'm over encumbered. I thought we should preserve this history somehow. I've decided to ask people to record their thoughts, their stories, anything they want to preserve forever. I'll call this series the Survivor Stories. I'll start with this. I was an anthropology PhD student at Baltic. Final year. I was printing my thesis with the sirens. I thought for sure my father, a vault employee, could take us all with him, but uh, only two reservations came through. I refused to go. With my little brother, he went to the vault. They could not persuade me, though they tried. In the end, I pushed them inside it, and that was it. After that, I, I went back home to Charleston and, well, survived. Eventually, the responders formed, and I, I signed up right away. It was so 
hard. The flood was devastating. Relocating to Morgantown Airport and now Flatwoods has been... I, I remain optimistic. Been with them now for, uh, well, I guess two years. We have big plans. We can do so much to help. Maybe, just maybe, we can rebuild enough to be okay. And in the meantime, I will continue to record stories of survivors when I can. We are your history. This is Dasa Ben Ami, signing off for now. Hmm. Alright, good stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and, before we do... The first contact quest. Let's go ahead and finish this public event in this area. I don't think I've actually been down this way yet. We also got to go ahead and get our base set up pretty soon. Hello? What's up, CJ? I you could hear me. Yeah, can you just fine? Awesome. I'll mute now. <laughs> All good, buddy. That's CJ stuck. That's one of our mods. Oh, the new bomb emote is in. Awesome. If you can hear me, apologies in advance. <laughs> I don't even have to watch the stream. I know, right? Ooh, this War of Mine episode two is out? Nice, dude. Do they not put in Push to Talk? They didn't yet, but they did confirm that Push to Talk is coming in. Uh, it should be in... I, I've heard there's a patch today. So, hopefully we'll get it today. Because I definitely don't want to turn off my... Uh, I, I want to be able to talk to people. I think that's that's a pretty cool part of the game. So I'd like to do it if we can. Let's go up Dub Lab down here. Hey, Vandros! Thank you for that five gift bomb, my man. Really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. I need a better close range weapon. I don't really have anything good for close right now. Hey, Adept203, how are you, bud? That does not do nearly as much damage as I was hoping. That's too bad. Yeah, we have 16 new Fallout emotes, thanks to Julia. She did an amazing job. They all look great. Uh, Asanise? Yeah, this game is out. This game came out officially yesterday. That's why we're starting a 100% run. A 100% exploration run. Hmm. Hey, Colin488. What's up today, bud? Still need to find this other farm hand. Shit, big miss. How's the game so far? I'm digging it, man. I'm digging it. It's more Fallout. Whoa. It's got its problems, but overall I'm enjoying it. Great. 
There we go. Did we get the big guy? Yes, change farmhand targeting parameters. Okay, so we need to go in here to do this. Let's grab this real quick. So what is our highest damage gun right now? It's the pipe revolver. Okay. Why am I not using vats? Ah, not, I'm not really feeling vats in this game yet. I think I'd just rather... Scanning. Scanning. Alert. Possible source of compostables detected. Alert. Possible source of compostables detected. Overseer's Journal Entry Part search. 1. Oh, shit. Okay, Potential well, we'll look at that in a minute. Initialize scanning protocol. Do we need to get into the basement somehow, it looks like? How am I going to get into the basement? Found it once. Here it is. Continuing Human class from target list. Great. Awesome. All right, there we go. We need you. The scorch were seen by Tilly's farm. They're staying with us now, but it's only all the children. The men are at Morgantown. Okay. Scanners indicate you are made of ninety percent compostable material. What I get for completing that. Oh, I apparently didn't cue the alert. That's too bad. So I don't know what I got from that. Oh, he died with his head in a... Ew. I'll take your hat. And by your hat, I mean, you know, your skull. <laughs> what is going on in there? Unable to locate. At all. Compost reserves some. depleted. Gathering biological material. There's a good yeah. industrial trunk over here. Oh yeah, cool. Okay. Error. Hmm. Compost reserves depleted. Gathering biological material. Okay. Did I get the FOV fixed? I sure did. FOV is fixed. Motion blur is off. Depth of field has been adjusted. A uh, bunch of rays, like a bunch of the ways they do rays have been done. Lens flare is off. I made a bunch of changes. And that's one of the reasons it looks so good. <laughs> Thought so far, really enjoying it. I'm, I'm playing it for the lore. I'm playing it to explore the world. I'm playing it to just kind of play more Fallout, and for me, it's it's everything I want so far. Having a great time with it. Marge, I miss you and the boys more than life. Don't think I'm a coward. I'm using what God gave me to help the only way I can. This agricultural center is a chance to feed all the people. I'll get it done. I'm close. I can feel it. McFadden. Oh, I remember this. This is one of the few things we did. Um, this is one of the few things we did on the beta. 